Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Will It Fit? If you don't remember, uh, this is when I go into what is typically a straight size retailer, whether it be in person or online or both. Uh, the last time it was both, this time it was also both. And I let you know if their biggest size will fit, what their biggest size is, and whether or not they have like sneak plus where they don't advertise it, they don't talk about it, or they don't even have it in store sometimes. But you, my friend, might be able to actually find your size in these stores. Now, I mentioned before I went on a whole spiel, I told you guys why I wanted to do this series, why I thought it was helpful, and why I felt like it was necessary. And if you wanna know why, go to the previous video, which is uh, for Victoria's Secret Pink. I did, uh, the first one was all about pink, and I tried all kinds of their stuff. So my intention is to try as much of what I can. So hands down, American Eagle was the most highly requested um, will it fit that you guys wanted to see next. So I went to American Eagle um, and I also ordered stuff online. I also went to Aerie, technically, I guess. I mean, Aerie is inside of American Eagle. Sometimes it's a standalone, right? I feel like I've seen Aerie in a standalone store by itself before, but um, if you guys want to see more Will It Fit, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and tell me which retailer you really, really, really want to see next, and that's who I will go to next. <laughs> um, and of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button, do the thing, and get your little updates or whatever, I don't know, you know, whatever all the other YouTubers tell you to do, do that, okay? But do it for me, do it for me this time. Um, what else? Oh, one other thing. I do have a Fashion Nova haul coming. You guys decided you want to see this one first, so that's why I'm filming this one first. And I have the shapewear video coming, but I just had some really shapewear, really bad shapewear delivered today. Uh, but I, a lot of you have also been mentioning the Wish app and seeing something from them, and I'm not gonna say I'm more than happy to do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm not like super keen on it, but if enough of you actually want to see it, and you want me to try it out, I understand everybody has different budgets, so... Um, if you guys actually really want to see that, if you have like a strong desire to see that, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to do like a plus size wish haul app. Um, haul? Wish haul app haul? Wish app haul? Wish app haul. Wish app haul. <laughs> so let me know down below, but uh, I don't have that much time today. So let's jump right into this haul. And for reference, if you're new here or whatever it may be, I am typically a size 16 in plus size retailers, like on the bottom for jeans. Um, in straight size retailers, I tend to be closer to an 18. So typically I buy an 18 if for whatever reason I'm shopping with a straight size retailer. And what that means is that that store, that retailer, whatever, they don't cater to plus size. They might have a size big enough for me that I can actually fit in, but their main demographic is not plus size women. So Tora's main demographic, plus size women. Fashion figure, plus size women. Lane Bryant, plus size women. Target, not necessarily plus size women, right? They have a plus section, that's cool, but if you're shopping in the straight size section, you're gonna ha probably have to pick up a bigger size than if you were shopping um, like at a, at a regular plus size retailer. So American Eagle does not cater to plus size women. So um, I did buy a size 18 in their jeans and they do not go up to an 18 in store. I do believe they go up to a size 14, at least with my own eyes when I looked, the biggest size was a 14. Maybe they go up to a 16, I don't think so. But the biggest size that I saw on their jean wall was a size 14. But online, you can get up to a size 20 in their uh, jeans and you can get up to an extra, extra large in their pretty much everything else, their pants or their tops or whatever. It goes up to a double XL on the internet. Um, and then they have their store called Aerie. So Aerie is basically like, they're like lounge and intimates and stuff like that. So they have bralettes, they have, um, they have pants, like yoga pants, stretchy pants, workout stuff. They have uh, underwear, they have all that kind of stuff in like Airy. So they do have different tags on the stuff, um, but Airy is typically inside of American Eagle. So let's go into the stuff that I got online first. I would say that I had more success online. And um, I'll start with the underwear from Airy because a lot of people wanted me to try them out. And so many people said that the extra large really worked for them. Now they did have a sale going on and I wanna say it was, seven for 29. So since I knew I'd be going in store for you guys, 
I wanted to buy extra large because in store they sell extra large and I want you to know whether or not you can actually physically walk into the store and find your size. So I bought size double XL, which is the biggest that they have, and I bought size extra large in the panties um, for the same exact one. So I'm not gonna try these all on for you guys <laughs> because there's so many here, but this is a size, um, this is like their typical sort of thong here and this is a size double XL. It normally is $12.50, but like I said, they have the panty deal which makes it seven for, I think it's seven for 29. Um, and I'll do my best to link everything down below. Where's my other panty? There it is. So <laughs> I got it in a double XL and I also got it in an XL and I will show you what the difference is. Um, just on the band, it's a couple of inches because this is about two inches in the front, which means it's also two inches in the back. And uh, it's, it's a fair, it's, it's a fair difference. So I tried on the double XLs and could I get them up? Yes. Are they comfortable? Sure, I guess. But are they flattering? Not at all. I mean, I have belly and then I also have a lot of hip. Like, I, my bottom half is bigger than my top half for sure. Like, so um, these were not cut out for me personally. Um, now it's just that pair though, I would say, because this pair that has the lace and stuff on top, they're super stretchy, they're really soft. I really like them, these ones. Uh, we're also part of that deal and I ended up getting this one uh, for in an extra extra large rather and I think this one fits nicely again <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't know I wouldn't be like hey Aries my new draw spot like that's where I'm gonna get all my panties at they, they're so nice they fit me so good no I still have unnecessary lines in my body I'm all about looking as smooth as possible and these do not help me achieve that so I also picked up a couple of um, just all lace thongs because this is what I normally wear is full lace thongs like this is my jam and I got them in an extra large and then I also got them in a double extra large and I think the quality is great like they feel good obviously I haven't worn them so you guys can let me know how the quality actually is once you've been wearing them for a while um, but again there's a pretty pretty substantial difference here so in an extra large and a double extra extra large the double extra large has a few extra inches of material um, again, these ones go on the double XL. The double XL goes on. It looks okay, but it's just not quite enough. <laughs> again, it's not cut for my body, so it's just not quite enough. If I move around too much, I know they're gonna slip down. I know they're gonna move. The thongs, especially those first ones that I showed you, and these ones too, they're so low cut. I do not normally have a problem with things being too low because my back goes on for days. But those underwear are so low, it's, whoa, it, whoa. So then, I wanted to show you guys these ones in a double XL, but they played me, the sticker says double XL, the price tag says double XL, the actual underwear, the tag on the underwear says XL, because they sent me the wrong size. So, um, these ones, same problem. Yes, I can get them on. No, I wouldn't necessarily recommend them. If you guys wanna know the best places to get plus size panties, I did an entire video on it. My boo was in the video. I thought it was super funny. Some of you guys didn't like it, a lot of you guys did. So if you're interested, go check out that video. I will link it down below. Maybe I will even do the thing where I stick it up here <laughs> so that you guys can go straight to it. And again, I got these other ones that have like the lace on top and they're a little bit more of like a satiny feel. And these ones are also in a double XL. And their underwear is super cute. They're super affordable and everything else, but they just don't quite fit my body right. So for me, airy underwear, it's a no-go. So let's move on to their bralettes because a lot of people ask me about their bras and their bralettes. So I went ahead and I ordered a 40C, which I typically am either a 40C or a 40D, just kind of depending on the company usually. This was $29.95, that's a lot. It does not look good though. It's like the straps on the side and in the back, um, they're not wide enough. They're just not made for all of this jelly basically. So, you know, cause I could go somewhere else and buy a 40C and everything fits nicely and smooth, it looks nice or whatever but I could go to a straight size retailer and buy a 40C and it's just not cut the same. So it's really cute and I guess if you don't have like a real fat back, if you don't have a whole lot going on back there, um, this would probably work a little bit better for you but I'm I'm not trying to add any additional rules to what I already got going on. So I wasn't a big fan of that either. <sighs> and then I also got this one which I thought was such a pretty color and this bralette, this is like a real deal bralette and this one I got in a size extra large because like I said I wanted to show you guys um, the sizes you could actually walk in and get. So this one was $26.95 and um, it's lace all over and it has little cups in there. 
this, you know, I can get it on and I guess technically it fits, but it's just a little bit tight and I feel like the back is a little bit short and so it's a little unflattering. This one I could see myself definitely keeping and wearing it underneath like a sweater or something in the fall, probably just because I think it's so cute. They do have really cute stuff, um, but the bralette game, you know, I guess if you have a modest chest like I do, you can probably get into them, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend them because you could get cheaper ones and they could probably fit a little bit better at a different store that you might see in your mall. So um, I guess it just depends. It depends on how accessible these other stores are to you. If all you have is American Eagle, go try them out. They're, they're not bad. Um, they just, I have felt more comfortable things in my body before. So if I have the option to have something that's better, I'm going to take the thing that's better. But if I don't have that option and this is what I have to, um, you know, kind of resort to, like, then I could see the upside of this too. They're not bad quality. They're not insanely priced. They do have sales there. And you can actually walk into the store and buy it and it's cute. So it has its ups, it has its downs. Now let's move into the things, bleh, now let's move into the things that I really, really, really loved. I had to get this stuff out of the way. So I think these other things were also from Aerie technically. Uh, let me double check the tag. Yeah, so I got these pants. I don't even know what they are. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but I know they're for me. Okay, so these were $39.95. Dang, I hope I had a coupon that day. I don't think I have, oh, hang on. I do have it. I have the invoice in here. Um, wow, something tells me I didn't have a coupon though. I hope I got something off, 20% or something. Discount, oh, I did, I got a big discount. Okay, because in total I paid $270 online and then I want to say I spent somewhere like around 150 in store because I didn't have any coupons in store. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of money. See, these videos are expensive, but I do them because you like them, right? So as long as you want to keep seeing them, I'm going to keep doing them for you. So these were $39.95 with whatever coupon I had. Uh, and I got these in a double XL. And I don't know, the girl in the picture looks so comfortable wearing them. Holy cow, I had to get them. So they fold over on the top, much like yoga pants. Um, but they're like loose and they're like baggy and I feel like the genie from Aladdin and I love it and they're so comfortable. Um, my only problem is if I actually fold over the top to where I would want it to be folded over, like to most, uh, like to best flatter my lower half, then it kind of covers up the pockets, but whatever, I'll deal with it. These pants are amazing though, seriously. Like I've never been able to pull off joggers, but these are so freaking dumb cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then... Um, these ones I actually walked in store to get. I wasn't planning on getting them, but I was looking for regular leggings. So these are $19.95. Like I said, I went in store, so the biggest size I could get was an extra large. And then these are just basic black leggings. Very thick, very, very reminiscent of the Torrid leggings, if you've ever tried them, and the same price. So these, um, they fit, and they go on. Um, they go up pretty high and they have basically the same amount of sheerness to them as a pair of toward leggings. If I were to bend over with the thong on, you'd see oh, both cheeks. You'd be like, oh, there's a little mole you've mentioned that one. Too. Yeah, that one, that's right there. You can see it. So um, it's actually a freckle, but, <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, they're not bad. And if you needed like a pair of leggings and a pinch or something, uh, for sure, like I could see myself actually wearing these. Like I'm not gonna return these. I'm gonna be keeping them and wearing them. Um, I'm only gonna return the stuff that's way too small for me, like the extra large panties. I didn't even have to try them on because the double XLs, were a little snug and I was like okay so the XLs are really gonna hurt my feelings um so I also picked this up online this I got in a double XL and it was $29.95 and it's so cute I love bodysuits and this is like a light wash like blue ribbed bodysuit and then it has this sort of like uh, lacing on the shoulders it's completely off the shoulder so I guess it's not on the shoulder, is it? <laughs> it's on the arm. And I just thought it was really, really cute with a pair of jeans, maybe with like a chunky knit over it. Love, I thought it was beautiful and I'm obsessed with it. And um, I also picked up these pants. These were also from Aerie. I believe these I also got in a double XL. These were, again, $39.95, same price as the other ones. And these are, um, they're a little more see-through. I wonder if you can see, maybe not. No, you won't really be able to tell on camera, but they're definitely a little more see-through, like I can see, almost like I'm looking through linen. And, um, but they're super comfortable, super like lightweight and baggy, and this nice thick band on the top, like very cute. 
very loungy, very comfortable, and very me. I like this color a lot. So um, these are a good find as well. I thought those were cute. I will definitely be wearing those on the regular. I'll do the jeans now. I'm sure you guys are waiting for the jeans, right? So I also picked up some jeans. Now this is not my first time buying American Eagle jeans. My best friend thinks that American Eagle jeans are like the best thing ever. So it should be noted, she and I have very different body type. She loves their jeans. She swears by their jeans. She's worn them forever. She loves the shorts. She loves their denim, period. And so about a year and a half, two years ago, two years ago, I decided I would try out their jeans too. I ordered a couple pairs and I basically I had to get the super, super, super high ones, like super high on the waist in order for them to fit well. Um, but they were really cute. The distressing's really cute. The material is nice. It, it, it has less stretch in it than I'm used to in a plus size jean. Um, so I felt almost flattened, but they looked good. I felt flattened, but they appeared nice, like when I looked in the mirror. So, um, just wanted to say this was not my first experience with them, <laughs> but I decided to pick up two new pairs and these I got the super high rise jegging and these are super stretch and these I got in a size 18 because like I said, when it's not a plus size retailer, I don't fit a size 16. So these are pretty basic, basic blue denim, no distressing, no nothing, your run of the mill denim. Um, they do have short, regular and long. Do they have extra long? I forget, somebody has extra long that I was recently shopping with and I can't remember who it was. Um, but they do have all these different ones and I think they have those in store. Um, but they have size 18, 16, 18, 20. You can find these online and you can find all the different heights and stuff online too. Not heights, lengths. Um, so these I believe were, how much were they? $39.95, not too bad for a pair of jeans. Plus you can usually get like a coupon or something. Um, they fit, they have 2% elastine in it. I think it's called lasting and uh, they fit but I don't think they're very flattering on me and they're not super comfortable these are jeans that if I put them on to go somewhere as soon as I got home I would be taking them off because I would probably be annoyed by them I like jeans that I can wear the whole day and not be bothered by them um, and those are hard to find sometimes but I do have a whole bunch and I will bring you a jeans video one of these days you let me know what you want to see in that video and I'll be happy to bring that to you um, but this other pair that I got hello I love their distressing I feel like it's hard to find really cute distressing and plus size jeans I feel like no one does it quite right but stay tuned and um, these were $49.95 and these I also got in a size 18. These are also the high rise jeggings, super stretch, but these ones say super, these first ones were the super high rise jeggings, super stretch. These ones are the high rise jeggings, super stretch X. They have an X on the tag. So these have the same percent of elastine in it, but they're way stretchier and they fit so much better. They're just so much more comfortable and they fit really nicely. The distressing is super fun. Um, they have this weird distressing at the, at the foot. This is kind of funky to me, but it's cute or whatever. And uh, these ones I just felt like fit way better and I love them and they look really nice. And um, like I said, I'm a 16 and plus size. So if you're like an 18 and plus size, um, then you can probably try the 20s from American Eagle and they will probably fit. If you're a 20 and you have a straighter body, that's the difference between like me and my, my best friend, um, as far as our lower halves go, I am a curvier basically. I have much more in the hip thigh area than she does, which is why these jeans are not necessarily like my holy grail jeans, but she has a bit of a straighter body. She has long legs. Um, so she loves the jeans because they fit her body really well. So I know not everyone has my body shape that's watching this right now. So if you have a shape that's a little bit more like what hers is, then these might work super well for you guys. We have a little bit more here. <laughs> These videos are always gonna be so long, I need to buy less stuff. Um, but I wanted to get the full, full, full experience for you guys. I wanted you to get everything. So I picked up a couple of sweaters. I went in store, because I wanted to buy stuff in store. I picked up a couple of sweaters. This is like a gray charcoal sweater. This I got in a size extra large, you can assume that. And this one was $39.95. It's like a loose, um, oh this is actually a cardigan. It's like a, a loose little sweater, it's really, 
It's just cute. I thought it was cute. It fits nicely. It fits my big arms with no problem. Lots of stretch and everything. Uh, like I said, I'll do my best to link everything that I can down below in the description box. Um, and if I can't find something, maybe I'll find something similar for you. Maybe you guys can help each other out. I love the little community we have here. Very helpful. Um, I also found this sweater, which I thought was super cute. And this is like in a little minty color. And here we go. This one extra large and this was $49.95 and um, not a whole lot to say about it I mean it fits and that's really what the question is right do their extra large sweaters fit absolutely no problem at all they don't look weird they look like whatever they look like they're supposed to you know be on my body so no problem fitting into an extra large in store as far as like the knits go so then I also picked this up, and this is like an off-the-shoulder top. I wanted to show you guys a top, but I couldn't really find anything that wasn't like a camisole or like had the shoulders open, and I'm like, oh, it's getting cold. Like, as much as I love buying all this stuff and showing it to you guys, I at least want stuff that I can transition into this weather, you know? Meanwhile, it's 90 degrees today, but it was cold the other day. It was like 50, okay? I don't know what Chicago's on, but climate change apparently. So this um, is listed at $29.95 but I got it for $19. And it's just an off the shoulder top. Again, it fits. Nothing too amazingly special about it but it fits. And then I wanted to try out like their basics like their t-shirts and stuff. So I grabbed this um, long sleeve top and I should have opened it all the way because it's an XL. It's $29.95. Holy cow. And they have it in a bunch of different prints and stuff, but it's so short, so it doesn't fall at a good length for me. If it had like three more inches, we would be all the way in business, but since it doesn't, she gotta go, because she's just not that cute. Um, and then the last thing that I got, I actually ordered this online. So this isn't a double XL. Definitely could have done an XL, but I was like already ordering all these double XLs. So um, this one is $54.95. And again, online, I think it's probably easier to get coupons online, but it's just this really big, like, chunky knit. Oh, it's so cute. I just, this is all I want right now are just, like, these big knit, like, sweaters and cardigans and stuff. I just want to be the coziest person ever in my lounge pants and my joggers and my cute, like, little bralettes and stuff. This is the one from uh, Rue 21, in case you were curious. And, um, yeah, so this fits perfectly fine. So as far as sweaters and stuff like that goes... I have no problem fitting into extra larges that I can walk into the store and pick up. In fact, with some of them, maybe a large. Uh, I don't want to push it, but maybe. Uh, as far as the underwear go, I personally would stay away from all of it. Extra large, double extra large. It's just not made for my body. So if you have some belly down there and you got a little bit of booty, I don't know that this is really for you. They're kind of short. They're kind of thin in the front. Um... What else? What else? What else? Oh, and then as far as the jeans go, the higher up they go, I find they fit me better. And if they have that super stretch X, then they're stretchier and they're just a little bit more flattering on the butt and hips and thighs area. Um, but like I said, if you have a different body shape, you might want to go try them out. And they go up to a 14 in store, maybe a 16, you guys let me know. Um, but they do have these extended sizes online. So, hey, at least they're kind of trying, sort of. I don't know. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more Will It Fit, please give me a thumbs up and let me know and tell me where you want me to shop next. And um, let me know if you want to see that Wish Haul app. Wish Haul app. Wish app haul. Dang. I'm Wish Haul app. Hashtag. <laughs> um, but uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you'll come back and be sure if to subscribe if you have not yet and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat and all that if you haven't. That's usually where I'm asking questions and I tell you guys the business before everybody else gets the business. And of course you can follow me on my vlog channel. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers on that channel. I don't really celebrate big numbers, but that's like mind boggling for me because that's just like my daily life. Me going to Trader Joe's and Target and pumping gas and people actually want to see that. I also do lunch videos and inside of the dressing rooms and talk about my real life and stuff like that over there. But um, crazy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and um, I gotta go pick the kids up from the bus stop. So I will see you later.